What's up, guys, and welcome back to Drawing with Brianna, episode two. Um, I'm sorry for what happened last time. I, I just tried to draw a Pikachu. I don't know what went down, but we're gonna give it another shot today. Today we're doing Sonic. Yay! Okay, so we're gonna start off with his little nose. Let's bed this one up a little bit just for time. We got his eyeballs, his pupils. So he can stare at you, not judging, of course. Um, we need to make his nose a little bit bigger. Cute little mouth. All right, hey, it's starting to look like Sonic. All right, his ears, love those. They're so cute. And oh, I made the fat Sonic, you know, the OG one from the Sega days. Um, mine might be a little too fat, but that's okay. Like I said before, it's all fun here. Having a good time. Give him his little spines. All right, now we got to finish his butt spines, his hands. Yeah, not too bad. I like it. All right, so far so good. I think we're going to get through this one. All right, he's right, he's got his cool pose. I mean, wow, I did really make him kind of beefy. I'm not going to lie. All right, here we go. Not again! Sonic Ignatius Hug. Once... Spent his time zooming through green hill zone. Now, you'll find him squatting at the dumpsters of Brown Lump Housing Authority. What happened to poor Sonic, you ask? On a sleepy summer day, Sonic felt like fulfilling his duties as champion of peace. As Sonic was running down Main Street saying hello to his fans, not knowing that a rotund child threw a banana peel just five minutes earlier, he slipped and hit the concrete hard, cracking his femur and turning his tibia to dust. Trying as hard as he could to rehabilitate his feeble and broken legs, failing every time. His transformation into an empty shell now complete. Abusing those close to him. Poor Tails and Knuckles tried to keep his spirits up, but nothing would help. The two, though, sharing this burden, grew closer and closer. Their relationship, which started out as a friendship, blossomed into a hot, burning love. Hotter than any poem written by Lord Byron. Tails once used his dual tails to fly, are now handles for Knuckles to get maximum depth. After alienating his friends, the only thing on Sonic's mind is survival. Long past his gold ring days, the only rings he handles now are attached to asses. There was a time where he would enjoy hot dogs smothered in chili, now the only wieners he partakes in are wrapped in latex. His philosophy now, one way or another, he's getting his bottles of natty ice and his next dose of suboxin. How about we all cross our fingers and pray that Sonic finds his way out of the muck? Godspeed, nimble beaver. Yeah... Sorry, guys. We we did our best. Um, I don't know what's going on. Maybe it's the the markers. Or maybe I gotta change my markers out. Uh, well, that's it for drawing with Brina for today. Come back next time where we draw a completely new character.